Hey folks, JD here. And today, on this well, slightly better morning, we're going to be taking up the MJX Bugs 2SE. This guy. Oh, it looks really, really nice. It's got some really nice looks to it, really nice paint job as well. Even though it's plastic, and it is a metallic coat on plastic, I think it works really, really well. Of course, we have the, um, the, the eyes which are synonymous with the Bugs brand, and we have the camera at the bottom. Be sure, if you haven't seen the unboxing, to take off that little film off the camera as well, as well as pop an SD card inside the, the quad. So today, what are the plans? Well, hopefully we're going to skirt around this rain that we've got forecast. We're going to put the battery in, we're going to calibrate it, we're going to take it up, we're going to see exactly how she fares, even though we have got quite strong winds. All right, let's get a calibrator then, folks. Okay then folks, there's separate parts to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the quadcopter, connect the transmitter to the quadcopter, then the, uh, the smart device, and then we're going to go from there. So push this in, then lock straight away, so you make sure that battery doesn't fall out mid-flight. Now we've done that, hold on to the lock button and turn on, and that's it. We are connected straight away. No need for the up and down, we've got... I've turned the, uh, the bu button to B, so we've got GPS, we've got full signal, uh, transmit is connected obviously, battery is full and quadcopter, the bottom one RX, that's your quad, that's full as well, sitting at mode 2. Right, number of satellites is the small digit there, next to the height and distance, so what we've got to do now is calibrate this, so we've got it attached to the bugs, let's open up the app, have we got anything? Yes, we do. So now it looks like we've got calibration lights. So I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to start calibrating. So it should be twist around and then hold up and twist with the camera facing up. And now that is all done by the look of it. So we've got red LEDs at the front, green LEDs at the back. 14 satellites so far, all LEDs are solid, I'd say we're good to go. So my friends, let's take her up. Okay, we're up. Let me just see how we're looking. Let's get some video recording from a screen recording perspective. Right, and then we're going to look at getting some proper video recorded. <laughs> ooh, ooh, right, okay. <laughs> look at you. God, you look really monstrous. Now, we do have a bad wind coming in here today, so we're looking at, from right to left, we're looking at winds of up to 14 miles an hour, gusting up to 18, but in my four points that I normally do in walking around the field to see exactly where the best place to fly is, I only picked up that maximum speed once. Right, so we're on GPS, we've got everything working, let's take her out. Ha 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 ha! Wow, okay. This thing is quite loud when you're standing next to her. But then as soon as you take off, I tell you what, this thing is really quite quiet. Oh, she's getting buffeted quite badly. Oh, ho, ho. let's bring her down a bit. Those powerful brushless motors, my God, just cutting through this breeze. No problem whatsoever. Transmission range so far is pretty good. Haven't really tested anything yet. We're just seeing exactly how she does with her flight. And so far, she's doing okay. So what I'm going to do is just switch to get some video recording. I've taken a, just taken a photo there just to see exactly how good it goes. By, by recording directly from your smart device, it automatically records onto the SD card. You can see in the top right it says TF. Um, so, oh, this thing is slick. This thing is slick. Oh, come on, another gust of wind there and no problem, just turns around and comes straight back. We've already lost a little bit of FPV, FPV signal there. Wow! <laughs> I just heard my tripod fell over. That isn't going to stop this little bugs though. Look at it go! Look how still it is! Wow! And you can hear when it comes next to you, that wind is really buffeting it. And do you know what? doesn't even flinch. Look at that. Just coming straight back to me and it's practically a straight line. 
beautiful. MJX, my God, you certainly know how to build a quadcopter and what components to put in it. Because these motors, it's only an 1800 kV set, but I tell you what, it just gives you unbeatable power. It really does, especially on a day like today. And we, I especially chose a, a, win, uh, a, a high wind day to take this out because I want to see, it's all very well flying quads when there's no wind or when there's wind of up to two to four miles an hour. But to be honest, the real test is taking them out and seeing how they perform like this. And even though, we've, even though I can't fly FPV because now and again I'm losing signal, what I am seeing from the quadcopter is that it is just excellent. Its movements are very, very still. Its GPS positioning. I'm just leaving it up there for the minute to see what happens. Look at that. It's just held itself beautifully in air. Now we have got wind which is constantly buffed to this. You can see it moving around, but it's not altering its position. That is the GPS precise hold. And that is exactly what you want in something like this. Oh, beautiful. Right, okay. Let's bring her down because I want to try follow me. I have not been successful with follow me at any point over the past couple of... Uh, past couple of uh, couple of flights so and the only follow me i've ever actually got to work 100 percent is dji's so with the camera looking at me hello i'm going to click follow me so once follow me function is working the camera lens will keep pointing at the mobile phone like this and remain consist uh, and, and remain constant distance to the mobile phone your throttle altitude could be adjusted manually so i can adjust there we go so right where is it? So it should now have picked up on my phone and it should now be able to follow me because it says we, we're on follow me, it is green. So only one way to find out, not touching any buttons. Oh, it is moving. Yep, yep. It's quite ginger. It's quite gingerly moving towards me. So if I move more into an open field, it is following me. I'm going to try and keep my back here, which means I'm going to be walking a lot slower. But you can see it moving. I'm walking out at a bit of an angle, so maybe it can't read the mobile phone correctly. But it is moving. Ooh, it's going a little bit squiffy. So let's stop following me for now. I've got full control back. Let's take her back out. Let's take her up a bit. There we are, so she has better communication. There we are, let's try it again. But I am quite satisfied it did work. Oh, it's just spinning. Okay, let's stop that. Let's stop that. Right. Okay. Follow me has never been good for me in this particular field. It did work. It did move. But once again, it wasn't 100% successful. Now, if that bothers you, then please let me know what your real world application is for follow me. Because after three years of flying these, I still have not found a genuine real world application for follow me. I still think it's a gimmick. Okay, what's this next one? Point of interest. With point of interest, your aircraft will continually circle clockwise around the, pre the preset point. So, what I'm gonna do, there we are. I am the point of interest. Yes, I know, fantastic. Um, but it is doing what it says on the tin. And it's adjusting its bearings. I can see it just moving itself, keeping me constantly in the, in the middle. It has increased its arc to the right of me here. It's coming back around. Oh my God, it's so low to the ground. Did you see that? Right, okay. So I tell you what, if I stop point of interest there, take her up a bit and then do point of interest again, what's it going to do? Because it still sees me in the camera. Again, it's going to circle around me, but that's good. Two features that have just worked bang off the bat. Okay, follow me wasn't great for anybody who says, yeah, but it didn't really work, did it? Um, it? It did, yes, it did move. Not really working, is it? Not moving. So it moved, it followed me just a little bit, uh, but it did follow me. And point of interest, once again, take her a little bit higher with point of interest. Let's stop that. I've now got full control back once again. We <laughs> this thing is so much fun. Right, okay. Well done, Mr. Bugs. Well done, Mr. Bugs. You make a fantastic little quadcopter. And it, she's quite a weighty bird coming in at over 400 grams. So you are gonna have to register it. But I tell you what, with that increased battery life of up to 16 minutes maximum, we've already been recording video for five minutes and 52 seconds. 
five minutes 56 and you know the battery life of the quad is just down one bar out of three so we're quarter into the battery great motors good battery good cells that's the that's the important thing the cells themselves can charge and recharge constantly um, rather than having one or two flights and then not being able to charge so i charge this on my balance charger in the house video i put up a couple of days ago oh look at that the wind is really hitting it but no bother it'll just keep on going straight through that wind now it's not often that i fly in conditions like this because i don't like to oh right okay that is low battery warning but we're on half battery by the look of it but we do have flashing leds Oh, well, the thing is, see, the environmental factors today are not going to be helping this battery life. We've got wind buffeting it, we've got video recording, we've got strong wind at that rather than just a breeze. We've got a lot of stuff happening to her, and she is. <laughs> she's putting up with it. So we've got half battery. So what's this little telemetry screen like underneath? Well, I think it's great. It relays the exact distance and height that you are flying into the bottom of this little screen here just there and it does it really really well so I'm a bit perturbed that we're down to two bars and now she is putting in low voltage meter well maybe it's something I can configure in the app I didn't do any prior configuration before I never do I just I just run default because I want to see people that uh, I want to see what, what the actual flight is going to be like on default settings I don't like to give any sort of extra settings on there but as we have oh yes as we have uh, low battery I'm gonna do one last lap and then when the weather is nicer I'm gonna do a couple of distance tests with this then and see exactly how far we can get it but yeah this is looking good still on two bars mind you oh, I just can't believe how easy this thing is to fly just so 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 nice and your and roll just effortlessly, effortlessly turns. Really does. You don't have to pilot this. You really don't. This thing, it almost flies itself. It's so, so nice to fly. And against that lovely sulfur yellow backdrop. Yes, I did use that as a nice thing. Uh, <laughs> oh, listen to that. Those motors really are. Do you know what? I did say I was going to stop it, but I just, I just can't. Right, this is the last one. Come on then, back to me. Come on then, back to me. Wind is looking really strong now. It had a bit of struggle to get take off there. Right, okay, down we come, down we come, down we come, down we come. Right then, okay. Let's land her. Let's land her. That wind has really picked up now. I'm going to have to feather her there for a minute until that wind dies down so I can land her safely. But she's holding her own. My God, look at her holding herself. Okay, I'm going to have to hold her a bit as well. Oh, that's a strong one. Okay, and land. Bit of grass cut in. Come on. And that's it. She's done. She's down. We're off. That is everything done, my friends. Bit of grass cutting, but that's nothing unusual. Let's unlock the battery. Let's take that out. Now, there we go. Wow. <laughs> this is fantastic. We have not got a nice day. Uh, we've got a day which is very rough very very rough and by all intents and purposes should not be flown in weather like this but in order to see how a quadcopter reacts you have to give her a bit of pressure now the bit of pressure we've given her here today is only because i trust this brand it's not for any other reason it's not for just wanting to show off because if i wanted to show off i wouldn't just be flying in this wind and i'm not that sort of person but this is just to see exactly how this does and i tell you what it's just fantastic absolutely fantastic now 
couple of points. We had Wi-Fi breakup. That doesn't really bother me because I fly LOS anyway, mostly. Um, we had follow me. It was a little bit jittery. It did follow for about two or three meters, which I was quite happy with. It actually kept up with me, so I was quite I was quite happy. If I was going faster, there's every possibility that it would keep on going a little bit quicker with me. Uh, I took her up a little bit higher and she got a bit disoriented, so I just brought her back down. Point of interest circled me without any problems oh actually no there was one problem wasn't there when i turned around to look at my left hand side she was really close to the ground so if again if you're going to do a point of interest keep her up high but that's a nice feature for if you wanted to go around a building or something like that you have that option gps and these motors these motors are well they're brushless they're cold lovely um it just puts up with punishment this is the first of a long life long a long a lot of ba this is the first of a lot of videos in this guy we're going to see exactly how this can do in repeated flights all right then my friends well i hope you've enjoyed this because i certainly have this thing is a winner 100 percent winner and the transmitter once again is basic mjx but it just works and that is what counts there we are my friends i hope you've enjoyed it because i certainly have thank you for being with me Thank you ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD, you've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.